did get a headline out of the trial. Uh, Kleiner decision on Powell promotion wasn't gender based. So Kleiner Perkins decision to not promote Powell, the jury saying wasn't gender based. Hi and assalamualaikum and salam Ramadan al Mubarak everyone. So you guys are watching Woman Show with me, Fatia Nafisa. So today we will discuss a very interesting topic about Ellen Powell with our great great guest today. Okay, before we ask our guest a few questions, did you guys know who is Ellen Powell? Okay, Ellen Powell is an American. Uh, investor who co-founded the diversity consulting non-profit organization project include but on 2012 uh, executive Ellen Powell filed a lawsuit against her employer Cleaner Perkins on the ground of gender discrimination okay to know deeper about Ellen Powell cases I would like to show you a video that prepared from our first guest Miss Elena Natasha to answer the question what she think when Ellen Powell make a decision to sue her company and how she voice out the decision and secondly I'm sorry I have a lot of questions uh, what do you think Eliana is it her voice out is effectively so to get know the answer let's watch the video hi and assalamualaikum everyone before that, I would like to thank the women's shows because invited me to these shows even though I cannot attend physically because of MCO right now, but I can do at home to answer all those questions regarding the case of Ellen Poe. Without wasting our time, let's go with the first question which is why Ellen Poe make a choice of voice of value? Ellen Poe make a choice of voice of value when she was discriminated by her employer Cleaner Perkins on the ground woman discriminations. This is where Cleaner Perkins failed to promote her and terminating her employment, but also because her senior partner not committed to the demand in improving the firm treatment of women, make Ellen Paul doesn't have choice to stand up for her right and others on the basis of human rights. Okay, so how she voiced her value. First thing first, what she did is by doing a formal memorandum in writing to several superiors on 4 January 2012. In memorandum, she described harassment that she received, such as being excluded from meeting by male partners. Then she filed a lawsuit on May 10, 2012, but the lawsuit went trial in 2015 after she was fired three years before that. So here we can see that she voiced a value by continuously fighting until she lost the lawsuit on March 27, 2015. So let's proceed with the second question which is, did I think Paul act on her value effectively? So I personally think that Paul act on her value effectively since she was very consistent on what she's doing and using a red channel like wrote a memorandum to voice out her value then after being fired she took a legal action towards cleaner parking i also watched the video voice where people in that video talk about their feels and want to voice their value but doesn't have a courage and platform to voice their values so i see the connection between the video and the case of ellen paul where ellen paul have a courage to voice a value confidently to fight for her right okay lastly does the fact that she lost the lawsuit impact my reasoning the answer is no because first she took a legal action in order to fight for his right even the fact that she lost the lawsuit is because of her negative performance over the year make her her being fired and make her statement of gender discrimination not valid and less convincing but for I personally think that we should not try to pick a part of people's fault and put aside that every employees have their right and should be treated fairly by the organization so same goes with the case of Ellen Paul where she should not be discriminated because of her gender okay lastly even she lost the lawsuit but still her case can still become a positive force for establishment equal employment for women in technical field and also because of this case it gives awareness for people out there especially women to always fight for their rights 
Last but not least, I hope everyone in a good health and always listen to our government to stay at home. So, Assalamualaikum. Okay, thank you Eliana for a great explanation. So, now we know why uh, Ellen Pao to make a decision to sue her company, right? Okay, when we talk about uh, Ellen Pao case, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will relate to the seven pillars of GVV or seven pillars of giving voice value so to know what is a seven pillars of gvv i would like to call uh, our second guest nuri natasha to answer uh, to explain or to share what is a seven pillars of gvv hi nuri uh, can you explain what is a seven pillars of a gvv thank you miss fatia for inviting me today Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I am Nuri Natasha binti Maslam. To answer your question, basically there are seven pillars of giving voice to value, which are values, choice, normalization, purpose, self knowledge and alignment, voice, and reasons and rationalization. Okay, Nuri. From a seven pillars of GVV that you mentioned just now, uh, which are related to our topic today, uh, can you share with us? Pillar that I think Paul could have engaged more effectively is the third pillar of giving voice to value, which is the normalization. According to Mary Gentile, normalization is by expecting conflict to be a regular part of our everyday life either in professional or personal life in both situations there could be other ways to solve her discrimination gender biases and harassment issues like having a conversation with her superiors it cannot be avoided that there will be certain problems like gender biases and harassment issues that will occur in our workplace or other settings. However, her action is not totally wrong because she thinks that it is not right to just keep quiet and compromise your values for the sake of staying in your job position or reason sorry or relationship with co-workers. Thank you. For the last question, Nurin, uh, are there any pillars that you think that Paul will take action effectively? Pillar that I think Paul could have engaged more effectively is the third pillar of giving voice to value, which is the normalization. According to Mary Gentile, Normalization is by expecting conflicts to be a regular part of our everyday life, either in professional or personal life. In both situations, there could be other ways to solve her discrimination, gender biases and harassment issues like having a conversation with her superiors. It cannot be avoided that there will be certain problems like gender biases and harassment issues that will occur in our workplace or other settings. However, her action is not totally wrong because she thinks that it is not right to just keep quiet and compromise your values for the sake of staying in your job position or reason, sorry, or relationship with co-workers. Thank you. Okay, thank you Nurin for a great explanation and we have learned a lot from you, especially what is seven pillar of GVV. Uh, and yeah, when we talk about uh, LPOW cases and it relate with uh, gender discrimination and we can deny uh, nowadays there's a lot of discrimination happened in our country. So now we have a caller to share their story with us. Uh, Miss Shafika, 
can you share with us either you have been witness or experience the discrimination before this? Okay, so thank you for your question and also thank you for having me in this woman talk. So your question is uh, either I have been witnessed a discrimination in the workplace. So my answer is yes, I have been seen before the discrimination in the workplace. I uh, toured the women Muslim workers, but they are not allowed by their supervisor and also their manager maybe to wearing a hijab during the work time. Uh, so I think this is a discrimination toward the um toward the Muslim uh, workers especially. Okay, so for the next question, what do you think uh, the ideal way to handle instance of discrimination in the workplace? So I think the best way uh, to handle the discrimination in the workplace is employees have must educate themselves with the act. Malaysia have many act uh, such as Atta Kerja 1955. So when employees know about the act, they can bring their problems uh, and complain their problems to the legal counsel and the legal counsel will take uh, seriously this issue is uh, employer society role play so as we know employer uh, itself have their own society so I think employee society should make a training or conference to all the employer to discuss about this uh, discrimination issue uh, and the effect of the discrimination issue if they discriminate their workers thank you okay thank you Ms. Shafika for your sharing uh for your sharing your opinion regarding this topic today okay without wasting our time let's watch a video from our last guest uh, who is a famous youtuber right now to share uh, her opinion regarding our topic today Ooh, welcome back on my youtube channel guys mm, it's quite tiring day today so I have to review about Alan Park hmm, without wasting our time let's get started so I'm going to read the facts of this case so this actually the case deals with the issue of gender bias in the workplace this case took place on May 10, 2012 when executive Ellen Paul filed a lawsuit against her boss, which is Perkins. Personally, if I was a juror in this case, I would vote in favor for Ellen Paul because of for many reasons. So, the evidence that I have found in this case the first one is when one of the employee who is same floor as Alan Paul said that Perkins did not pay too much attention towards male employees may stay. The second one is Alan Paul. She was actually ganged up by male dominated company. So why? This is because they not treat women properly and her voice did not mean as much when it comes to fairness. So that means Perkins did not pay too much attention towards female employees voice and he also did not pay too much attention towards male employee mistake. This shows that Alan Paul is really really under discrimination issue under gender bias. Okay, so I have received a lot of questions regarding this topic. So, I'm gonna pick the top 3 highlighted questions. Okay, actually, I never faced ethical conduct in my organization before. I don't know why. Maybe I'm good? <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, let's move on to the next question. 
Okay, I will not do as same as Alan Paul did because I think why would I fight for that not worth for it? Such as if I know the tendency that I, the tendency I lost the case is high. So why will I do that? Right? So that's my answer. And the last question is first is I will consult and seek for advice with my HR department, Human Resource. The second step is I will collect any evidence as a proof to my HR. The proof must be related with this issue such as discrimination. And then the third one is I will wait for a betterment. If there is no solution, no changes, then the last thing I will do is I will quit the job. I will voluntarily resign from my job. Of course, I need to find a better workplace which is fun to be with, right? So that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Bye. So I think that's all for today. I hope you all learn a little bit about the Ellen podcast and the gender discrimination. So thank you for watching Women Show and see you next time. Bye. Assalamualaikum.